I'm very proud to accept this, and I'll try and justify it um, and your faith in me. To present the Emma Future Award to Elizabeth Olson, please welcome two sisters who will make us all feel better about the future, the founders of the Latitude Project, Jennifer and Alana Tynan. We are thrilled to stand together tonight to help honor our beloved spokesperson, board member, and friend, Elizabeth Olson, receive the EMA Futures Award. Tonight. Lizzie has already made the world of difference in our lives and in our work to help others. Standing here today fills us with an immense gratitude for our own good fortune and the opportunity that we have to make the world a better place by facing the future together. So we could not be more happy or grateful to present this Emma Futures Award to Elizabeth, Elizabeth Olson. Hi, I'm really scared of public speaking. Um, so I brought this as a comfort blanket, but I'm gonna try and use this. Um, I wanna thank um, Alana and Jen for being here. They, they live in Canada. Um, <laughs> And I feel really fortunate because there's no reason for me to be here without them. It wouldn't make sense. Um, I want to thank uh, EMA and Debbie for e thinking to honor me at all um, and for the vote of confidence. Um, it's really meaningful to, to be here tonight in such spectacular company, including Miss Jane Fonda, who um, who played my my grandmother in my first film, <laughs> like nine or ten years ago, um, you are such an inspiration to women of all generations. So thank you for your life work. <sighs> so. Um, I wanted to take the time up here just to celebrate Jen and Alana and the work they do. Um, like they said, we met in Nicaragua and uh, I was supposed to be on a vacation and they were working very hard. Um, and I did, I joined them on, um, on a day trip where we, we distributed school supplies and recreational materials and played soccer with the kids. And it was a school that they had built, um, but it was on our drive back from visiting the school that we stopped at one of the one of the poorest homes within the incredibly impoverished community this this man Ariel um, his home was maybe 200 square feet uh, walls built of uh, various materials a tarp for a roof and the dirt as his floor and he was the happiest man when he saw Alana Alan and Jen. And they were there to bring him his children's uh, school uniforms, because you have to wear a uniform in school in Nicaragua. Um, and he wanted to share with us his animals and his home. And he would call um, the Tynan sisters his, his angels. <laughs> and it was then that I, I could recognize the impact that they have had. Um, on so many individuals within Nicaragua and the communities that they've been helping. So I'm sharing this story because it represents to me what um, the Latitude Project is, whether it is building roofs, latrines, well pumps um, that are safe for children, uh, schools, water filters. Um, they also have provided the first healthcare program for hundreds of families that had never had access to it in their life. Um, Jen and Alana have, in, have inspired and empowered every individual they work with. They don't enter these communities as saviors, but as partners and friends. And they always ask, like they said, um, the communities what they need, and then they together with the people build that. There's no imperialism. Um, and just to witness the gratitude these communities have for the sisters has been um, the greatest gift and encouragement. Uh, the Latitude Project builds not just physical structures, but hope and pride. And at our event tonight, surrounded by all these storytellers, I, I believe that there is a story worth telling. And what EMA does so well and uniquely is strongly encourage and educate 
our most powerful storytellers to use their voice and power to spread the word of um, unknown known stories like the latitude. Um, or I'm going to read what I, what I wrote, actually. So the real-life superheroes, like the Tynans, who fight the daily fight to help contribute to this planet we all share and all the people with whom we share it. And so in the name of that spirit of making our planet a better and more sustainable place, um, I am very proud to accept this, and I'll try and justify it um, and your faith in me. So um, thank you for having me here tonight and allowing me to take this clumsy time to honor these um, incredible women.